I haven't got any tips for you, man. I, I do like the rest of the stuff. Just the dating stuff doesn't interest me personally. I've got yeah. a girlfriend. Yeah. I'm not here for that reason. I'm just here for the culture, for the language, to to yeah. get to know how how the city works. You know. Okay, so maybe something about more about the Russian language or the Ukrainian language or like what kind of questions like do you feel you have about it? Like, well, I'm pretty sure you've talked about like where it's okay in Ukraine to speak Russian, where it's okay to speak Ukrainian. And, I, and in Lviv, I was trying to use my Russian, but I was just getting hammered back with the Ukrainian. Всем привет and welcome back to Odessa in Ukraine. I'm Connor Klein, this is the Zara Experience and today's Tip Thursday is actually an answer to a question that I received from one of you who came up to me on the street here in Odessa just a week ago. Uh, Josh from Australia, he was wondering about the language situation here in Ukraine and where in Ukraine you can speak Russian and where the people normally speak Ukrainian. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you an overview of where in Ukraine you can speak Russian. Let's go. So if you've been watching my channel regularly over the last say, year or so, you know that I've learned both Russian and Ukrainian. And if you've been really paying attention, you know that I'm also a lawyer by profession. So we're gonna start with the legal situation on languages here in Ukraine. Now, the national language or official language of the country Ukraine is Ukrainian. There's only one official language for the country. There was a law that wasn't enforced that was a minority language law that allowed certain parts of Ukraine to have Russian, Hungarian and Romanian legally used in certain areas, certain towns, municipalities or oblasts or like bigger regions. Uh, but that law was recently ruled unconstitutional. I'm speaking at the end of the summer in 2018. It's almost September. So they're actually going to introduce and probably get a new law. So at the moment that issue is a little bit ambiguous, but for the entire country, the official language is only Ukrainian. So now that we've dealt with the de jure situation, the legal situation, let's deal with the de facto situation here in Ukraine in terms of languages. Now, two thirds of Ukrainians actually speak Ukrainian as their native tongue, and one third speaking other languages. Most of those happen to be Russian speakers. Now, there are other minority languages like Bulgarian, I mentioned Romanian and Hungarian, also Crimean Tatar, and lots and lots of other smaller languages. What's interesting is that about half of Ukrainians actually use Russian on a daily basis, and there's definitely a big divide in terms of being where you are geographically in the country so here in the south and in the east of Ukraine uh, Russian is a lot more common than it's going to be in the west of Ukraine like cities like Lviv are kind of the main part the biggest city in the west of Ukraine so there definitely it's going to be more Ukrainian uh, speaking now there is also a divide between the countryside and the rural areas because urbanites tend to be more likely than rural folk to speak in Russian so these are the things that you're going to counter when you come here now to Ukraine and it's why when you're in a big city like say uh, Odessa we're in the south of Ukraine it's a city people here are gonna speak to each other in uh, Russian and not in Ukraine that confuses everybody who plans to come here because they read that the official language is Ukrainian and think well yeah then you should learn Ukrainian because that's what everyone speaks that's not actually the case on a daily basis and um, that's also true uh, the opposite is true sorry in Lviv it is of course a big city but it's even more pronounced when you go out into the countryside in western Ukraine then everything will be in Ukrainian everybody will be speaking Ukrainian to each other and you probably won't even hear any Russian there so the country has different regions and you know this urban rural divide that make a big difference in terms of what language you're going to end up speaking in while you're here. So I was just explaining to you that if you're a language geek like me, then you're probably interested to know what happens here in Odessa, in the city of Odessa in Ukraine. Now, in addition to Russian being used in every everyday life, of course, there are a lot of other ethnicities and languages spoken, one being Galguz in the region, which is like a Turkic language, and also Bulgarian. There are a lot, a lot of Bulgarian speakers in the hinterland of Odessa, so don't be surprised if you meet people from here. Actually, they speak Bulgarian at home. And of course, a lot of Crimean Tatars have moved from Crimea since Russia's annexation. If you go to Crimea today, it's obviously de facto in Russia and administered by Russia, but it is de jure or legally still part of Ukraine. Um, and Crimean Tatars tend to speak either Russian or Crimean Tatar. Uh, so they're the other languages you're likely to hear in this city in the south of Ukraine. 
So what does all this mean for the traveler who comes here to Ukraine? Now, if you're going to the big cities and you're trying to decide whether you can learn Russian or Ukrainian for your trip, well, it doesn't really matter that much because in the big cities, you'll be probably able to speak in both of them with most people because they will at least understand you. Now, they might reply in the other language, like say you're here in Odessa, people will try to reply to you in Ukrainian if you speak to them. I've seen it happen. I've seen people from the West of Ukraine use Ukrainian here. It's not a problem at all to do so. Uh, but maybe some people like older people maybe might be very comfortable in speaking Ukrainian and they may reply to you in Russian. Same goes in Lviv in the west of Ukraine. If you go there to the very city center, that main square, uh, market square, and you speak in Russian, it's completely fine because basically they're both bilingual, all the people there. But if you go outside, then probably they would reply to you more in Ukrainian. Can happen in Lviv, the people reply to you in Ukrainian as well if you speak to Russian. My personal experience has been that about 50% of the time, if I speak in Russian, they will reply to me in Russian, maybe 40% of the time in Ukrainian, and then maybe 10% of the time in English because they realize that I'm a foreigner. So if you go to those big cities, you're not going to have any problem whatsoever if you learn to speak in Russian or Ukrainian. People will just basically try to communicate with you, so don't really worry too much about your decision. Now, the thing about Russian is, of course, that it is a global language. I think about 100 and 30 odd million people speak it as their first language, 300 million people actually speak it overall. As opposed to Ukrainian where it's like total number of speakers, probably about 50 million. So there you go. That's why I would choose to learn Russian first because obviously it's the official language of the United Nations. So it could even be useful for your employment depending on what you're doing. And you'll just be able to speak to a lot more people when you're traveling in the region in general than if you learn Ukrainian, which is going to be very specific to this country. And it's going to be the main language only in certain parts of it on top of it. So let's go and take my final trip around here on my electric unicycle. I have some kids trying to take me out with their plane. Let's go. So if you're a language nerd like me or an language enthusiast, then I would just say go ahead and learn both of them. But if you have to choose which to start with, now you have a good overview of where in Ukraine Russian is spoken and where Ukrainian is most predominantly spoken. So if you've enjoyed this video, normal protocol, big thumbs up, strike the like button and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you receive all my notifications when I upload new videos here from Odessa in Ukraine at the moment. I've been spending a good little bit of time here and I've met a lot of you viewers who've come up to me in the street. So please keep doing that. It's always great to meet you guys uh, when you're actually here in Odessa and to hear your stories, uh, good and bad of your trip and how I've inspired you to be here. That's the main reason why I continue to do this and upload videos and show you what it's really like here in these. This is not some sort of mainstream watered down version or stereotypical version of the country. This is actually what it's like when you're here. I'm giving you the real truth. And at times that is unpopular seeing the reaction to some of my videos but you know sometimes the truth hurts so what do you prefer so with that said it's uh this vidanya see you very soon in the next video all your smiling enthusiastic faces for eastern europe ciao Sar experience